Hey everyone, I'm Crystal. This is going to be for all signs. We're going to kind of touch up on everything. I have my vision board cards. We're going to find out what you guys are manifesting, do some career, you know, stuff, and then we are going to do a little bit on love, okay? So we're going to find out what's coming in for you. What are you guys trying to manifest here? You have a happy marriage. So you guys are manifesting love or somebody um, that will be committed to you. You guys are manifesting um, somebody who's going to be your other half. You have partnerships. Wow. So this could be also in um, career as well. But um, you guys are manifesting good partnerships, good friendships, good teamwork, teammates. You know what I mean? Um, you have peace of mind. So things are going to start getting a lot more easier for you guys, okay? Um, I do feel like uh, things are going to start falling into place more. You're going to have more people that you can depend on. Um, you have intuition. So it's like you guys are getting more um, psychic downloads. I say on um, a lot, I know. You guys are getting a lot more psychic downloads. You guys are um, starting to listen to your intuition more, following signs from spirit. It's like uh, maybe your dreams are starting to uh, come more vivid to you. I feel like you're starting to understand a lot more. You have inspiration enjoy every moment now or never so i feel like you guys are starting to realize like how beautiful life is and like the good things in life not really focusing too much on the negatives here right trying to stay positive and because you guys are staying positive and higher vibration and um more i feel like you guys are on your spiritual journey here okay and it's like <clears throat> you guys are thinking better and because you guys are thinking better there's more better things coming in for you the harder things are leaving the bottom of the deck is family okay so it says where life begins and never ends family so you're definitely manifesting a marriage family children like the home life okay that's definitely coming in for you let's clarify this marriage the six of swords in reverse my deck is upside down but that meant to fall upside down okay so this is something that you're not going to have to feel like you walk on your own eggshells anymore it's going to be a lot more smoother than what it used to be like what you used to be going through with the seven of wands it's like this person's going to help you clean <laughs> okay this person's going to help you more with your uh task okay you're not going to feel like you're doing everything on your own you have the nine of cups this is what you guys been wishing for okay so it's like a dream come true. You see, like, the husband and the wife right here on the picture with the Christmas. I feel like you guys are going to have, like, really good uh, holidays together, uh, spending a lot of quality time together, sharing gifts with each other. I feel like this person's going to be very open and honest, very um, blunt, and very um, outspoken. So sometimes it might not be so good when people are so outspoken because with the King of Swords, they can kind of be like very blunt and just say what's on their mind before they think. But at least you know this person isn't going to lie to you. <laughs> and you have the Empress. I feel like this person is going to take care of you. They're going to put you above the rest, okay? So I was going to do career next, but I think I'm just going to stick with the marriage and the love thing, okay? So what does this person have to offer you? I'm going to use my other deck. six of wands they're going to support you and everything that you do they're going to tell you that you look good they're going to talk you up okay this person is going to have your back with everything that you're doing the six of wands the six of cups sixes are good cards okay that's like overcoming obstacles this person's a helper all right they will share with you buy you gifts you see how those boys giving her like flowers or whatever i told you this person's going to be bringing you gifts they might like bring you flowers or chocolates or just when they're outside they may think of you sorry about that if you hear the outside buttons my dog's buttons um but this person's coming in and with the high priestess, man, this is a very spiritual connection, okay? this It's like when you guys, this person might be very spiritual too. Six of Cups, the high priestess, the six of wands. One of you guys might be, um, you know, famous or in the spotlight. Or maybe you guys use your gifts or your abilities for your own career, your own, um, you know, thing here. But with the high priestess, this person is somebody that you're going to know is your person. Like when you meet this person, it might be love at first sight is what I'm hearing. This could also be a childhood sweetheart, somebody coming back from the past, okay? Um, past life soulmate. Yeah, as I'm speaking about that, you get the Knight of Wands. This person may have been back and forth in your life. They could have also been very hot and cold with you too. 
And I just seen the Empress earlier and I didn't keep it out. I should have because now you have the Emperor. That's divine counterparts. And with the Knight of Wands and the Emperor, they could have been like indecisive about taking charge and taking action and putting their foot down and doing what it is that they said they were going to do or what they made you believe they were going to do. It's funny because you have the Knight of Wands right here too. It's like this person may have been in and out and like the flirt and like we're very like um, lovey and passionate, but then they kind of like may have ran but it's like this person may have learned a lot if this is from the past ace of swords as i'm speaking that i'm saying that's the truth so this person's starting to realize now and i feel like they're no longer going back and forth the sun yeah they made up their mind they have clarity they know what they're doing now okay with the ace of swords and the sun back to back these are both about clarity okay so this person knows what they want about to take action here so what's the timing here the four of cups you may block them. If you want this person to talk to you, you might want to unblock them. They might have tried to reach out, look, and been blocked. But this is Capricorn season, and this is about four weeks to four months, okay? So anywhere from Capricorn season to four months from now, so maybe uh, November, December, January, February. Okay, so anywhere from now to February, the Seven of Swords. One of you guys may have had each other blocked because maybe there is something that somebody was stuck to, but I feel like this person's getting away from that, okay? Clarify the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't have a feeling that it's a bad thing. I feel like this could have been things from the past that's happened. A lot of running, a lot of ignoring, blocking, because they were stuck in something toxic. But the Ace of Pentacles clarifying the Seven of Swords, there's a stable new beginning here. The Chariot, they're moving forward, okay? They're moving forward. They're doing better. Um, they're learning a lot. They're gaining more clarity. Like, this person knows now, okay? They know now. So, one more card. Page of Pentacles. Look, the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, they're learning a lot because they're learning a lot and they're also doing things a little bit differently than the way that they used to. They're also thinking differently than they used to. This is going to help them to be able to start a brand new beginning with you, okay? So, they miss you. They regret breadcrumbing you. They, re they regret not giving you um, more. Look, Three of Swords, they're heartbroken over this. Whatever they've done to you, if this is somebody from the past, they definitely feel like a piece of shit, okay? So, we are going to pull some career guidance now. I'm going to pull some of these Kipper decks, too, as well. Fifth. Gift. Sorrow. Oh, <laughs> infant. This person may have did some immature shit, stole your love, stole your time, your energy, whatever, ran from you, but they feel like shit for doing it, and I feel like they're coming back with a gift. This person's very, <laughs> this person feels like they owe you so much. I keep on getting gift. This person wants to give you a gift. I want to clarify what this gift is first before we do the career. The Four of Wands. This is like a new home. This is commitment. This is a promise. This Four of Wands. This is Twin Flame too. Okay. The Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Oh my God. They may have really betrayed you and hurt you. And maybe they lied to you or backstabbed or left you for another person. They could have just cut you off. This person feels like shit for all of that. With the Four of Wands, they are trying to come back through. Okay, and their gift is almost like them finally wanting to be committed to you and them cutting out the things that no longer serve them in their life now. Okay, so I feel like they're ready to like really seriously like settle down. You have the world. Yep, they're closing a chapter, beginning a new one. And I feel like you're going to be king of wands too. You can trust them now. Work. This person's been doing a lot of work on themselves, especially on their immaturity and their decision making, because I feel like they don't really make good decisions here, or they haven't in the past. But the thing is, you have to go through the shit that you go through, because that's something that teaches you. It, it, it teaches you a lot of shit, right? You learn from it. 
you have windfall, gossip, people might be talking about what you're doing with your career or what you're doing in your life. Uh, the people might be talking good and people might be talking bad, okay? It says minimize drama and take personal responsibility to act with integrity. So kind of ignore them, blow them off, don't give them any energy. The less energy that you give them, the less power they have and it'll soon fade away or at least it won't bother you enough and it'll be like a distant thing like you know, you have windfall. So I do feel like you guys might be getting like a raise or like moving up in your career here, maybe more money coming in. Okay. This says spend money wisely. Make sure your head and your heart are aligned. So if you're going to spend money or you're going to do something, make sure that you're not conflicted about it. If you're conflicted about it, there's a reason why you're conflicted. So I would take that time. It's like, okay, well, maybe not right now. I'll wait till I'm hundred percent to go in. Right. You have inspiration. So there might be a new um, inspiration coming in for you. Something may like kind of like, you know flick on a switch inside your head okay you might have a whole bunch of new ideas coming in for you that's going to lead you towards like your windfall okay or also maturity too as well you guys might do a lot for other people okay maybe you guys do charity events maybe you guys uh help the homeless maybe you guys help people who don't have things or you know this could be like a doctor this could be a counselor whatever with the charity card it says donate to create positive energy around you what you do comes back to you what you get you give no what you give you get <laughs> whatever um humanitarian social worker legal aid human rights or advocacy work the more you give of yourself, the more you'll nourish your soul. You have entertainers. So some of you guys might be working in the public eye. I did see that earlier with the Six of Wands. Um, you have next level too. So you guys are about to be like moving up. You guys might be in movies. You guys might be singers, dancers. Um, somebody that just kind of like attracts so many people because of your own talents, because of what you're able to do from yourself, like within. Like not everybody is like you. And I feel like you guys stand out in the crowd, okay? This is um, your charm and influence will help you get ahead sorry about my granddaughter and you have taken your finances and business to the next level so if you guys are trying to be seen or trying to be recognized for your talents for your abilities put yourself out there because i feel like you guys will you have counselor so you guys might be like who knows maybe you guys have like youtube platforms or maybe you guys have like instagram or maybe you guys are like you know public speakers or something like that and you have beginnings this is something that's brand new okay and i feel like this is going to be it's like a gift from the heavens okay from the angels you know and it's all like i feel like you guys are using your talents like using whatever you're good at if you guys are good at acting you're going to be like trying out for movies if you guys are good at singing maybe you're going to start like putting yourself out there and if you're not spirit wants you to because you don't have those abilities for no reason Okay, you have the Hierophant, like as I'm talking about spirit, and you got the Hierophant. They're saying tune in, you know, tune into your abilities, tune into your, to the signs, tune into your dreams, okay? <clears throat> Listen to spirit. You have the strength in the Hierophant. This is a Taurus and Leo energy. Then you have the moon, which is Pisces, which is about fear, and then you have the devil. Holy helicopters. All right, so it's like you guys may have a lot of fear that things are just not going to work out. Maybe you're a fear that, you know, you're going to get stuck in something that you're not going to like, um, especially when it has to do with, like, uh, movies and, like, all that. If you guys know anything like I do with the whole bad shit, making deals. I hope you can read that card right there. It's in your what? Can you see it? Yeah. No, we don't want that, right? So there might be some fear of that, okay? Or it's just a fear of getting stuck in something or, you know, maybe your fear is keeping you guys stuck, okay? Or maybe you guys are sticking with something that's toxic, something that isn't good for you, cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, people, you know, mindsets, whatever this is. I feel like you guys are getting a lot of dreams and spirit is sending you these signs and they're trying to say, and it's funny too, because you have the strength card and the devil. The strength card is the only card that can overcome the devil. So it's like you, you can literally overcome this. This is four major arcanas. You are meant to be a star. You are meant to stand out but your fears and your mindset might be the thing that's stopping you the knight of pentacles and the timing too maybe you feel like it's going to take forever maybe you don't think that you know it's worth it because it's taken forever maybe you feel like it isn't meant for you whatever this is it's just a dream of yours i mean whatever this is is a dream of yours and i feel like you need to go for it if you're feeling called to do something go out and do it because everybody else can so so can you right the two of cups, like you're not going to regret it. You're going to get an offer. You're going to get a deal. You're going to get accepted. People are going to love you. People are going to, you know, um, you know, understand you and kind of be on your level. I feel like people are going to love you. 
Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Do you see what I'm saying? Don't let fear, Knight of Cups. The angels is bringing this to you. The angels are bringing this to you, okay? And I just read this, Three of Pentacles, and what I just thought it said, think positive. Oh, man, my, I really can't read. Three, I can, but Three of Pentacles, this is going to be something that you can build from the ground up, from yourself, and you're not going to regret it. These are brand new beginnings. Passion, love, getting recognized, getting noticed, the Knight of Cups. This is like coming from the, they're trying to bring this to you. Maybe you've even had offers already. Maybe you already do it, but I feel like you're going to get bigger, okay? So anyway, this is what I got for you guys. I hope this resonates and I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Toodles.